What's up guys, it's Goodwin52 and welcome back to another deck review. If you haven't already, make sure that you like, you subscribe and you comment down below. And as always guys, let's get into it! Now in today's video we have got the first playing cards by Chris Ramsey. Now a little backstory behind these, so these are the first solo venture that Chris made into the playing card industry. So as you may have known before, he had collaborated with Illusionist doing the Knights, he had done Memento Mori with Murphy's Magic, and he has had many other design things with Illusionist. But these are his first venture, hence the name first, and it's also a throwback to the comments on YouTube and other various social media platforms where people would just comment first all the time and on his videos. So these cards are printed on USPCC stock, they're air cushioned, the tuck case is printed on smooth paper with this gold foil band with a debossing around the first logo on the front of the cards. There isn't much design work on the first one apart from a little bit on the bottom that says First Playing Cards Company by Chris Ramsey. When you pop the tuck on the tuck flap, you have gold Chris Ramsey snake symbol. And as you open it up, you get this sight. So the inside of the tuck case is foil, cold foil, metallic, printed all the way inside there. Just like that, which is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that in the light. That captures some attention. The cards themselves comes with a blank card. Two jokers, a duplicate four of spades, which is Chris Ramsey's cards, and now let's have a look at the back design. The back design features these two, well, this Chris Ramsey snake logo repeated throughout the whole entire back. It's kind of like an off-white, maybe greyish kind of colour, with these these uh, darker grey in between all of the snakes. You've got this gold border around the edge and as you can see from the light shining on it you have two gold foil to the edge first playing cards now these cards are a first because they are one of the first cards to have that cold foil all the way to the edge going down the stack here as well as that they also are the first ones to have gold foil on the front of the cards which is sitting there in the custom ace of spades now the faces of the cards are standard However, the court cards have a slighter alteration on them in terms of colours. So we've got this goldish yellow, these greys and the blacks, which I think are very nice toned all together. Uh, likewise, with the black cards, we have similar. It's gold, black and grey, uh, an absence of colour in terms of the face. I think that's a really nice touch to the cards. It gives them a almost unique feel and look to them. Aesthetically. Speaking of aesthetics, let's get into the review. So in terms of aesthetics, I'm going to give these cards a 12 out of 13. I just think that the gold foil is gorgeous, an offset on the white, the back design is beautiful and the cold press on the front. I do love them, so I'm going to give that a 12 out of 13. In terms of handling, these cards are USPCC, so you know what you get before you open the box. They do feel amazing. I've had them now for a year and they've held up so well. They feel really good, they spring really well, they aren't too glossy or sticky, and they are perfect for doing magic with. So I will give them a 10 out of 13. In terms of durability, they do last really well, like I've just said, so I'm gonna give that a 11 out of 13, as for a year they've not even broken in that, that well. Well, 
they've broken in well but they haven't been destroyed. And in terms of practicality, I'm going to give these a 10 out of 13 because despite having gold foil, it is flipped. So when you are doing tricks in back to front, you do see that um, that gold foil, if that makes any sense. If you're doing a slot trick, you can see that the cards are the opposite way around. However, that's not too much of an issue. I'll give it a 10 out of 13. And if I'm right in thinking, that makes this a 42 out of 52 deck. Now these cards are amazing and they sold out pretty quickly. I think there was only 15,000 printed of these cards and they sold out quite quickly last year. Since then, Chris has released the first playing cards version two, which are in black. And they sold out within 24 hours. And if you would like me to review them, I know someone who I could pick them up from. It's just going to be a little bit of money, but that's fine. I don't mind doing it if you guys want to see a review of that. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you drop a comment down below. Don't forget to go check out my Instagram. And if you'd like to see more deck reviews, make sure you comment down below what decks you'd like to see, and I shall review them for you. Anyway guys, as always, bye!